Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blend 3D Car Creation channel. In This is uh, another episode in the uh, Blender Learning uh, Tutorial Series playlist I've got. Um, and in this episode I'm concentrating more on loop cuts. Um, I, did a, I did a previous video um, for loop cuts but I only included the uh, space command in it. So this time I'll be having a look at a few more. So if you haven't got loop cuts um, in Blender as an add-on, um, go to Preferences um, and once that's loaded up go to Add-ons in the little um, box up here with the map magnifying glass just type in loop tools. Now I've already got it um, assigned but you just click this little block box and get it in there. Okay, so um, when you right mouse click now when you've got loop cuts you've got bridge, circle, curve, flatten, geotech, uh, loft, relax and space. Um, I'm going to cover a few of those, not all of them but a few of those. Um, so in this instance I've um, just included a plane so shift A and add a, a mesh plane. Um, what we're going to do is sub subdivide it so if I go subdivide and then subdivide again and again just to get a, an indication now this one uh, I'm going to show you is the circle so if you select a range of um, vertices so if you click that one first press um, shift shift control and choose that one um, and then we go to loop tools and you press circle and that's what it does, it puts a circle in there. So if you want to scale it, you can. So scale, scale it, make sure you're, you're on, um, not in, on boundary box, so Z. So right mesh circle, and then scale it to whatever size you want. And then if you wanna go into this, just say X and delete the faces. Um, Put a modifier on a subdivision surface, and there you go. There's your circle. Ramp it up to two on the levels of viewport, and three on your render. Three on render, and there you go. So to check it, just go into Metcap. Click on Metcap here. And this is a way I test out the reflections in Blender and choose that one. There you go. So you've put a circle in a in a in a mesh plane and it's there's as you can see there's no deviation in the in the light. Okay, so that's that. Um, the next one I want to show you is so for this I'm gonna simply highlight that and delete it, X delete. Okay, so I'm bringing my um, my project. I can find it. There we go. And just put it at normal there. So this is my project. Turn that cup off. Right, so we go here. So what I want to do is just pick pick any line, and I'll do the um, I'll pick this line here. So press Control I and hide the rest. Um, we'll keep we'll put the blueprint on just as a as a reference point. So we've got this line. So press A and select the whole range, the line. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's joined. So, um, the first one I want to try, so get rid of the blueprints for now. First, first one I want to try is, um, well we know the space one, um, so we won't use that one. So, let's try loft. So let's shift and D, create another copy, move it down, move it out. Uh, it's because the mirror's on, get, get rid of the mirror. So pull it out, then shift and D, 
create another one, uh, move it out and down even more. Right now select all of them and go loop tools loft. And as you can see that um, if you add two you just choose the bridge but if you've got more just use loft and then you can manipulate and create some interesting shapes. So that's loft. So let's go back. Just to go back just keep pressing control and Z. Um, so this time we're going to try and see what happens to um, curve. So nothing happens with curve. I'm not sure what you do with curve. I'll have to have a look at that sometime. We'll try um, flatten. That should flatten out all the. Um, so if we move one of these vertices down out of the way and move one of these up, still got two there, haven't I? Uh, right. I thought I'd only chosen one. So let's get rid of any duplicates. So merge by distance. Okay, so let's move this one down. Move this one up a bit. Select the whole line and choose um, loop tools, flatten. Nothing happens. Loop tools relax so there you go um, loop tools relax is, is a pretty good one so if we go back and see where we were originally that's where we were originally so choose all them choose loop tools and relax and what relax does is um, if you highlight this it, it relaxes the loop so it's smoother so it actually smooths up things so I will be using that in a lot of my um, my tutorials. Um, so the next one is, we've done space, but I'll show you it again. Loop tools and space. And what that does is spaces out your, it keeps the integrity of the line, the curve, but it spaces out all the vertices. So, okay, you might not want some of them spaced out because of, if you've got um, like the windshield, you've got two close together to define the edge, so you wouldn't choose them. But you certainly could for the rest of the um, for the rest of the top topology. So Brett Holt, Alt H and bring it all back, um, and you can see what's happened with that. It's spaced it and brought some of them down. But if you've got a line, say here to here. So you click that one, hold control and click that and go loop tools space. That spaces each vertice out in that range. Okay. And then you do it for the next line, then the next line, then the next line. Okay, I hope um that was a little insight into loop tools. Um I'll do a bit more research on it and um show show the other aspects of it. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.